What is the crack, ladies and gents, boys and girls around the feckin' world? My name is DB Geek, and welcome back to another Halo-related video. Except this time, we're gonna be checking out something due to popular demand, and well, because of my damn right curiosity, I need to check out the ODST audio logs. Yes, lads and ladies, as you know, we have concluded Halo 3 ODST, and we are on the verge of completing Halo 3 here on YouTube. But if you didn't know, we have already finished Halo 3 on Twitch. So make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dvgeek to be a part of the live gaming greatness that happens over there. And you guys will get access to a lot of great things, including all the, the VODs and stuff like that. So definitely consider following me there. But anyway, that being said, that is something else entirely. Today, we are going to be checking out the Halo 3 ODST audio logs, as this gives us a little bit of an inside story of the ODST video game. And one that you guys really, really want me to listen to and react to. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing today. So if you guys are hyped and excited to see this reaction, make sure you smash that like. And of course, if you're new and you haven't already, Ready? I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button to be a part of the Halo journey here on YouTube. Anyway, lads, ladies, that being said, it's time to check out these audio logs. I'm excited, I'm curious, I'm hyped, and I'm ready. So let's check it out right now. All right, so here it is. Halo 3 ODST, Sadie's story. Here we go. Hello, traveler. Mombasa welcomes you. Anxious? Stressed? Please remain calm. Control circuits now open with pride. Okay, so we actually got visuals as well here, which is very exciting. One ticket to old Mombasa, please. Oh, that's her. Here's my card. Oh, no, scrap that. Traceable, damn it. Coins. Need coins. Thank you. What is your final destination? Magongo. If I don't get caught, hell if I do. Magongo. Transport for one, two, let's go, let's go. Please collect your ticket. Wait! Hold the doors, please! Quick, run in, run in, run in. Oh, that was close. She got in. Old Mombasa, now departing. Next stop, Makupa, Nairobi Road, Hope Station, and Magongo. End of the line. Almost there. Almost. Oh, shit. Emergency stop. Please Damn remain it. calm. He found me. Who found her? This is very interesting. I want to know this story. Emergency stop. Please remain calm. Emergency stop. Virgil, we can't stop the train. There are other people on board. Receive me, Ma. Emergency stop. Get out, Virgil. Please remain calm. What are you doing, crazy lady? Talking to the train? I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't kept turning all the traffic signals red. Detour. Proceed with caution. Whoa, wait. Train's talking back to you now? What the heck's going on? Sir, I'm really sorry about this. I was just trying to get out of the city. Virgil, I am going to enlist. Watch your speed. Children at play. I'm 19. And besides, the UNSC is taking everyone it can get. That's exactly what Dad would say. You know, train's got a point. A lot of soldiers are dying these days. He's not a train. He's a city. A bad, bad city. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad city. When I was a kid, Virgil. Open the doors now! So how is she in direct communication with Virgil? Now departing. Hope Station. Leaving. Hope Station. Virgil, go to hell. Oh, and here comes the Covenant! Scratch that. Hell just came here. Yep. Virgil, can you hear me? I'm on my chatter, but I'm off the train in old Mombasa, and- No parking. Violators will be ticketed and towed. I know, I can see it. A giant covenant ship just hanging above the city center. There's a kiosk on the platform. Makupa station. Meet me there, okay? I excuse me. I love the Virgil Sorry. chime. Hey! Watch it, mister! Please state your destination. Virgil, give me eyes on Dad, quick! I'm sorry. I don't recognize that's a city. 
Where are you? Train station. There, Old there Mombasa. Is. Dad, this is ship. Listen, sweetheart. I wanted to tell you at breakfast, but you left so early. You know my latest project, the seismic survey for the new construction downtown. Dad, well, they said Covenant something ship. something under the city. I've never seen anything like it. Dad, Covenant are attacking the city. Do you hear what I'm saying? You've got to get out of there. Don't worry. I'm nine levels underground, and I built Virgil's data center to be very, very secure. Fine. Then I'll come to you. No. Absolutely okay, not. so her dad, exactly Dr. Desha, is responsible Virgil. Sorry, dad. for Virgil. There's a... Uh, Wrong. This is a video connection, city. I can see you making no sounds. I can't hear you. Steady, <laughs> Indesha. I will not allow you to put yourself in danger. What's that noise? Uh -oh. Incoming! Oh no! Get out of there! before they trample her into the sidewalk. Yes, sir. So she's NFPD, of importance. Everyone back off. Guess they know the doctor's daughter. Said back off. Are you hurt? No. I'll be all right. Bradley, get her inside. It's just total chaos. Head. We've got to go. Naturally. When there's a freaking invasion on their hands. What the devil are you doing out in the old city? There was something wrong with the train. You don't say. <laughs> I know all about Virgil and his overprotective urges, Sidi. Bradley, drive! Yes, There's some cool cars that I kept commenting on as I played through the game. My dad, he's at work. Futuristic the looking yards. The only building. No, I don't think so. There are too many Covenant in that district. I'd like to take you somewhere much more... private. Where are you gonna take her? Bradley, the partition, if you please. Yes, sir. Where are we going? The police department has an emergency bunker outside the city limits. We'll be very safe. That's very kind of you, Commissioner, but I can't. I'm sorry. If you would please take me to the city center. Such a serious young woman. Just like your mother. New Mombasa's most passionate public defender. Too bad her last client really was a sick, murdering bastard. She had your eyes. Virgil, oh, stop the what's car. he doing? As police commissioner, it's my job to uphold the law. I think you're just I'm being a creep. City has very to be fair. Personal privacy statutes. My car is off the grid, Sadie. As far as Virgil is concerned, you just disappeared. What <laughs> is this asshole up to? Assaulting a police officer. That's a serious offense. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Just like your mother. Let go of me. It's the end of the world. Virgil, please. Nobody Somebody. cares what happens to one lost soul. <laughs> Officer, why are we stopping? Keep going. Mike exits Get his out. car. What? You heard me. Let go of me. Oh! Car. What do you think you're doing? Nice one, Mike. <laughs> Get the shit out of him, Mike. Go! I hope Go! I hurt you, son of a bitch. Yeah. Not as much as you're going to hurt when I. <laughs> Commissioner, I'm taking the car. If Let's go, city, Mike. You can walk like everyone else. You'll pay for this, Bradley. Yeah. It's the end of the world. Who's gonna give Nobody a shit? Yeah. Who's gonna give a shit about you and your title? Did you forget about that? You prick. That's what you get. You okay back there? Thanks for pulling him off. Kinsler had it coming. Look in his driver two weeks, seen enough to last a lifetime. What? Name's Mike. <laughs> two what weeks was enough. Sadie, Indesha. You know, for a cop, you make a pretty good guardian angel. Ex cop. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, I was looking for a career change anyway. How about soldier? Yeah, it does seem like a growth sector. Mike, I need to get back over the bridge to the only building downtown. Well, that's a problem. Because I need to keep away from Covenant Plasma Fire. Okay, just drop me off here. Don't be stupid. 
What are you going to do? Fight your way through a few million refugees just so the Covenant can kill you a little faster? And this is why you always bring Camphor on a first date. I'm trying to save your life. You're trying to save your own ass. And yours. I think I'm the only person in this car who needs to be thinking about my ass. Fine. <laughs> Fine. All right. He did help her, though, in Thanks fairness. Thanks for saving me for like three minutes. You're welcome. It was just looking out for her, I suppose. Well, I sure showed him. <laughs> Great. I'm stranded on the wrong side of the bridge in the middle of an alien invasion, and I just pissed off the only person willing to help me out. Yeah, you did. Go you kind of done that to yourself. My feeling exactly. A goat. Dad? City. Thank God. Virgil couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, you can thank Kinsler for that. Police Commissioner Kinsler? What do you mean? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Get your kebabs. Oh my Real. God. What? What is it, City? The biggest man I've ever seen. Where are you? The hell? The old town man. And he's selling kebabs. He's giving away his food. Too bad oh. they won't keep the covenant from glassing the city. They won't glass the city. Hang on, Dad. I'm in contact with an only officer. She thinks these Covenants are just a reconnaissance force. And I think they're looking for the same thing Virgil found in his seismic survey. Dad, I'll call you back. Move, you wolf! Get that table out of the road! Calm yourself, friend. Stop honking. <laughs> and have a kebab. For the last time, move your fat ass! Up. Hey! Get off my car! My friend, I am an 800-pound man with a large cleaver who kills animals. 800 day, pounds. Them into pieces. Wow. Do you really want us to be enemies? Or would you rather have a nice kebab? What's this dude's deal? Somebody make him stop. Get out that car. Did he hit him for the last time, you blimp? Get out of the road. <laughs> you put your cleaver through the hood of my car. Uh, well, you deserved a thousand it. Pardons, but it was, I know that. We'll smash your windshield, pull you out. And to make you into kebabs. What? No. No, no. Hey, wait. Then please, stop honking your horn. It frightens the children. Sorry, Dad. There was a sort of a thing here. Yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> City. New Mombasa is the only place on Earth the Covenant is attacking. What? Why? Virgil's survey. He detected some very unusual seismic activity all along the Great Reef. Would you like a kebab, young lady? Mm, chicken, mutton, beef. One free for every refugee. I'm not a refugee. I'm going there. Across the bridge to where the aliens are landing? Take two kebabs. Sadie, <laughs> stay out of the city center. For the road. I don't want you coming anywhere near the security zone. Sorry, Dad. Gotta go. I'll call you back. Sadie, come, my friends. Don't be shy. Free food for the journey. Now, young lady, if you are headed into the war zone, you must eat curried lamb, roast chicken. They look delicious, really. But I'm not hungry. Um, my dear, the end of the world is nothing to face. Oh, on an empty stomach. Oh, disgusting. How can this guy stay so calm? Listen. What you're doing, feeding all these hungry people, it's really a noble thing, but you can't stay here. The fighting is going to spread across the water into the old city. Um, um, would you be a deer and run to the wine merchant? This lamb would be perfect with a 23 Ida Syrah. I understand. You're too heavy to walk very far, but... There are other options. <laughs> you could carry me, perhaps? <laughs> Virgil, you listening? I need you to It's like this guy is completely oblivious to what's going on oh, right now. Or maybe an olifant. Or maybe he simply just doesn't care. I am insulted. If you stay here, you'll die. You need to get to the train station. Or the waterfront. It's much closer. Look at me. Nobody will give me a place on a boat or a bus or a train. I would take up five seats. I am not worth five people. You can't Aww. just give up. Mm. Throw away your life. What about your life? You seem determined to go to the one place you are most likely to die. I'm going to find my father. He needs me, just like all your customers need you. Very well, young lady. I am convinced. 
I too will leave Mombasa. Good. As soon as you do. No! First, you make your father sleep. Then you come back and rescue me, my brave warrior princess, riding her fearless thug leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up. Yeah, for some reason I think it's gonna take more than a forklift to lift you, dude. I will still have kebabs. <laughs> Excuse me. Ow! Sorry. I'll be back soon. Of course you will. Chicken, Please, just let me through. Caution. One way street. Stop it, Virgil. Warning. No U-turn allowed. I'll find Dad. Then I'll come back. I'm not crying. I'm not. She's a brave girl. Very brave. So many innocent people dying. Welcome to your African Trust automated teller machine. Banking with pride. Finally, an ETM that still works. Virgil? Get dead. Please place your right to Sadie, where are you? Outside one of the casinos, down by the river. She I can, can barely speak to hear him you, Dad. There are looters inside, smashing everything. Government troops are spread all over the city center. I can see them on the monitors in my lab. You've got to get as far away as you can. Forget it! I'm coming to get you. End of discussion. Invest wisely. Open a personal savings account today. Listen to Virgil City. This loot is yeah, just open the a personal savings account. Pretty soon we won't need the covenant to tear us apart. We'll do that all by ourselves. Virgil, you've watched me all my life, kept me safe. Now you've got to save the city. That's a boy. Scare them all the way to the river. I know they can afford the ferry. Dad. Can Virgil track the Covenant as they move? Stream positional data to the UNSC? Yes. I might be able to reconfigure his traffic congestion cameras to isolate known Covenant vehicle profiles. Maybe the Argus sniffers can pick up their soldiers, too. I've only seen vids of the different Covenant species, but I bet they all stink in their own special way. That's an excellent idea. Virgil, get right on it. Sadie, I, I know I've been busy and we don't always have time to talk, but sweetheart, you make me very, very proud. <laughs> well, I just figure if we know where the bastards are, we can at least run away better. That was a nice trick with the police sirens, girly. Oh, who so the stupid. heck is this? Step away from that cash machine, or I'm gonna blow your pretty head off! Really? You think I'm deaf? Last warning! Back away from my cash machine! Jesus! Too, girly. Sadie, get out of there! Look, I'm stepping she back. She looks as okay. awful as she sounds. Why don't you just put down your gun. Time to break the piggy bank! Hey! You almost hit me! African Trust. Open up! Banking with pride. Open up! Everyone, listen! That's a Covenant dropship! Hurry! Forty years I've been coming to this place. Forty years of losing my hard-earned cash. Well, today I hit the jackpot. You hear me, you damn machine? I want my money! Incorrect password. Please remove your card. Virgil, give her the money. And we've got to find some cover. Ha! Out of my way, you little slut! Jesus! She's foul. There. Dumpster. Oh, shit, the brutes. The brutes! This say old ladies. Oh, shit. It just tore the ATM off the casino wall. Transaction complete. Please come again. Oh. Oh, my God. She's crushed under the ATM. Fuck. Please don't look behind this door. Brutes don't give no fucks. Brutes, please, please, please. <laughs> Alien son of a bitch! Think I'd share any of this with you? <laughs> That's it. Keep walking. 
working? Are you to see here? Baby, are you all right? I was. Run, run. Oh God! What a really bad time to drop in, Dad. Don't tell me it's Mike. Was that you? My head. It's, it's Mike. <laughs> what a dude. You came back. He's a real dude. What a G. What's going on? Hang on, Dad. Let me help you out of there. Uh, I'm okay. Seriously. That whole macho tough guy thing, it's really never worked for me. Give me your hand. Be gentle. Take me around front. Let me see what I hit. <laughs> Let me see what Boots, I hit. Huh? Well, that's never coming out of the grill. <laughs> I respect the crap out of him for coming back. Great etiquette tip, Dad. Let me get back to you. My father says I should thank you for saving my life. Yeah, couldn't save the car though. I think there's something stuck in there. Oh. That's a. Ew. Poor. Yeah, I can see that. Mike, seriously, thanks. Hey. I didn't want to be the guy who leaves the damsel in distress. Plus, all the lights turned red when you tried to drive away. How did you... Virgil? Who's that? Your boyfriend? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a clever way of asking if she's available. Sure, the AI that runs the city, picks up the garbage, monitors the traffic, helped me trace a license plate last week. Well, Virgil is part of the superintendent. A subroutine my dad wrote to look after me when I was a kid. Look after you? After my mom died. It was just Dad and me. He did his best, but his job. When Dad couldn't be there, Virgil was. He helped me get to school on time, made sure I bought a healthy lunch and didn't watch too much TV. That sort of thing. Must have been annoying. <laughs> Must have been annoying. <laughs> Must have been. Yeah. Mike, why are you helping me? I'm a cop. Service to all, right? Uh -huh. Look, the city's under attack. A lot of people need help. Well, I can die a hero, or I can die a coward. But got any choices that don't involve dying? <laughs> Not if you want to go back over that bridge. God, it's just total chaos and panic and terror. Naturally, it's a freaking alien invasion. Things you do for a kiss. What? I said I won't let you down, miss. <laughs> right. Things you do for a kiss. Step aside, people. You know, if the panicked mobs would just stay in nice neat lines, we'd ugh, watch it. Get across this bridge a lot faster. Do you hear that? What? The water? Don't tell me you're afraid of heights. Pelican dropship. Hard to see through all the smoke, but it's heading our way. Virgil, got eyes in the sky. Not good. Cane tapping, seeing eye dog, means Virgil can't see it. And who do we know who likes to travel off the grid? There's a police watch. We can't be safe. On that. Where's you? I'm getting my face. Uh oh, oh, I have a bad feeling. Hello, city. Remember me? Oh, fuck. It's so good to see you again, Sadie. But please, no sudden movements. This pelican is the stablest thing to stand what on. What a dick. I to shoot you accidentally. Bradley, your service pistol. Remove it from your holster. Slowly. Yeah, yeah. Now toss it off the bridge. <laughs> good. I must say, Sadie, you play very hard to get. Bet that makes you angry. Oh, quite the opposite. Virgil, a little help here. Your chatter made you easy to track, but I think you and Virgil have talked quite enough. Take it off. Now smash it. 
No! Do you know what I've learned in all my years in politics? That you're an asshole? The value <laughs> of escalation. For example, last time we met, Branley hit me with his fist. Keep talking. I might do it again. I think not. This time, I have a submachine gun. You see? Escalation. Goodbye, Branley. Do it, and you're a dead man. Sadie, you're such a bright, beautiful girl. You have no idea how much it pains me when you act so incredibly stupid. I have the gun. Yes, but I have the garbage truck. My drop ship! That shitty property, Virgil! What the devil do you think you're doing? Escalation. <laughs> Whoa! Man, what a smell! Come on! This is our ride! Oh no! No, 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 no! I am not getting in the back of a... Uh, olifant! Think of it as an armored personnel carrier. For the smell impaired. <laughs> Stay strong, Mombasa. Our noble militia is hitting back hard. The enemy has begun to retreat. Oh, I think I've got to puke. Might make it smell better. Why do we have to ride back here again? It's the safest way to get to the only building. If we sit in the cab, we're targets. If we let Virgil drive us to the only building, the Covenant thinks we're just a harmless machine. Recycling. Do your part. Uh oh, company, get behind me. Who's that? Finally, something Tom. between me and all the shooting. Guess we all had the same bright idea, huh? Name's Tom O'Berdy. Damn glad to meet you. Married, right? You two own a house? Of course you do. Say, when this is all over, Sounds if like you're a in the market man. for new ceramic siding, hey now, I'm your mm -hmm. man. Tom? Yep. Shut up. Virgil, can you raise Dad on this Oliphant's radio? Wow, buddy. Is she a tough customer or what? You have no idea. <laughs> I'm okay. What about you? The fighting is spreading. Damaging all sorts of systems. Power, data, the entire superintendent infrastructure is close to collapse. I'm doing all I can, but... Dad, you've done an incredible job keeping Virgil together. City, it's not me. It's the Covenant. Dad, it's hard to hear inside this Oliphant. Say that again? A plasma bombardment collapsed one of Virgil's tertiary data centers. I was assessing the damage through the underground cameras. And I saw Covenant splicing cables, patching switches. What? The Covenant are helping us? Well, I'll be damned. Dad, I just met my first brutes. They didn't seem too helpful. No. The ones in the data center weren't brutes or any of the Covenant I've heard about. It's a whole new species, Sadie. And they're actually quite beautiful. They have some sort of automatic defense system, but as long as you don't get too close... You know, and I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe this whole invasion is just one big misunderstanding, huh? Shut up, Tom! Oh, Tom, Tom you're not wrong, man! <laughs> you're not wrong! Wait a second. I'll connect the audio feed. Number one rule of sales. Understand exactly what the customer needs. Not what he wants, what he needs. You understand? Tom! Seriously. Zip it. Sydney. <laughs> it's dark in the station. Switching the camera to thermal. Strange. There aren't any brutes around. Usually they never leave them alone. All right. I see six of the new aliens floating in a circle. They are surrounding a seventh, touching it with their tentacles. Amazing. You wouldn't believe how fast they can move their limbs. They're working. Doing something to the explosives in the seventh alien's armor. <laughs> Uh -oh. Dad, what were those explosions? Virgil, can't this Oliphant go any faster? I'm not sure what just happened. Six of the aliens are dead. But I think... Sidi, I think they gave their lives to free their companion. Yes, yes, I can see it floating away down the subway tube. Virgil, keep an eye on that one. Covenant with feelings, huh? It's a first. What was I saying? They're friendly, don't you see? We gotta negotiate. Negotiate? We shoot at them, they shoot back at us. That's just bad business. Hey, 
Hey aliens, we're in here. We want to surrender. No. Oh. Damn, you idiot. Tom, Tom somebody knock doing? him out, Radio please. Covenant, I'm the ones doing all the shooting. To hell with demographics. This is a down market. Time to bargain. You want to make the sale? Ugh. You. Yeah, you in the tank over here. Oh, for fuck. These. I'm up in the back right. We're out of here. That's right. Up here. What say you and me make a deal, huh? Don't rock. Don't rock. Sidey, it's a right. Move. Where to? Anyway. Oh, come crap. on. Come on the street. I'm coming traffic. You don't understand. Goodbye, Tom. God damn it, Tom, you idiot. That right blew the hell out of our olifant. Poor Tom. Poor Tom. He almost got us killed. Yeah. He was asking for it, literally. Now what? Stay out of sight. Find a kiosk. My dad's in the data center under the Oni building. Basically right at the heart of the Covenant occupation. We're going to need Virgil's help getting him out of there. Here, take my jacket. I don't mind the rain. It's fiber armored. I mind you getting shot. Thanks. Optican, healthcare on demand. Please place your hand on the touchpad and give them the outline. Virgil, get me dead. Elevated heart rate. Are you feeling anxious? Stressed? Try Optican's newest mood settling drug. And stop playing doctor! Good sake. Finally, a kiosk with a camera. Now I can see that you are alright. But why are you dressed like a police officer? It's Mike's. Say hello. <clears throat> it's good to meet you, Dr. Indasha. Meeting the parents already. You know, you are the first young man Sadie's ever introduced to me. <laughs> What's Virgil? Virgil. Learning to whistle. Whistle? So he can communicate with the tentacle aliens. Stress harms relationships. Good communication and good medicine can help. We just met a guy that tried the whole communicate with the enemy thing. It didn't work out so well, Dad. These new aliens are different. Inquisitive, not violent. They're searching for something under New Mombasa, I'm sure of it. And if Virgil can learn to speak with them, we'll be able to determine whether or not they can... Dad? Attention, citizens. The enemy has infiltrated our data system. Do not Irregular alarm. Pulse. Our Heart individual rate police have reported a level one communication. All civilian chatter is restricted. No! Crap! Calm down. They killed note. him! Who? The police! They just pulled Virgil's plug! No way. The whole city would shut down. The evacuation would grind to a halt. No one would be crazy enough to... No one? Oh, crap. Police headquarters, straight ahead! How does a level one blackout work? How do we bring Virgil back? Emergency communications department. But we can't just... Kick down the door, plug Virgil back in? You bet your ass we can! Sidey, that's... wait! Don't think that's what he was going to say. Emergency comms, 14th floor, elevators are... Hold up! Look! The lobby's all shot up. And over by the elevators. Uh, are those cops? All dead. Probably a brute kill squad. Howdy, folks. Or not. Sorry about the mess. Since it appears we're all Marshall. going straight to hell today... I figured I'd send some of my old pals on their way myself. Listen, buddy, we don't want any trouble. We just need to get upstairs. Stay right where you are. Here comes another one now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they shut the Jim. super down. We'll keep broadcasting as long as we can. Hey there, Jimbo. What the? Officers down. There may be Covenant in the... Come on now, get off your chatter and pay attention. Marshal, what are you doing here? Didn't you get fired? Remember how often I ask you not to use my half and half? And remember how often you didn't listen? You? You did this? God damn it, Jim. Why well, you gotta lose your mind? No, please. I wrote my name right there on the cart. Oh. What the listen. fuck? According to this department, I have issues with anger management. If I were you. Yeah. I'd stay right where you are. You two are my hostages. Sit tight, or you're gonna end up like these old buddies of mine. Mike, we have to get upstairs. Turn Virgil back on! No talking. You work for the NMPD? Uh... No. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get the jacket? I stole it. From the trash. A thief, huh? Got a record, you little punk? Look, why don't you put down your rifle and... Why don't you shut your goddamn mouth? that SWAT pussies finally woke up they'll be wearing body armor so you have to take the headshot <laughs> 
Get down, Sadie! Now! Drop your weapon! Come and get it! Ha! Marshall's got Damn nothing it. to Take lose. Him down. Cover me! Man down! Man down! We're blocked in! He's got us pinned in here! Get back! Get back! Stay behind the door! Come on, it's a whole SWAT team against one dude with no armor! Oh my eyes! Oh, you lousy! Such a bitch! Got him! Suspect down! Sidey! Sidey! You okay? You! Hands where I can see him! Don't shoot! I'm in MPD, damn it! Let me see a badge. Nice and slow. The whole city's crawling with covenants and we're killing each other. Here. Yep. See? Metro PD. Typical humans. I need to get her to the 14th floor. It's an emergency. Okay, take her up. We'll deal with this mess. There must be a dozen bodies here. We can't save them, Sadie. But we can save Virgil. We have to go. Emergency comms. 14th floor. Should have taken the elevator. After what just happened? I don't think so. So, what exactly are you going to say to make them reinitialize Virgil? I'll think of something. Oh, I'm cute. Break the law for me. That's not funny. I'm just saying, it worked on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, what a dude. I've got three more evac points at 200% capacity. Somebody answer that damn phone. Where's the duty officer? Big desk. At the back. Thanks. Any of the ferries no still running? Well, oh. oh. you'll just have to go down there yourself. As I've been trying to tell you, Captain, I don't have the authority to override them. What do you mean, gross misconduct? Captain Dare, I assure you, people are dying down here. Excuse me. Yes, of course I could turn Captain the superintendent Dare. back on. But Commissioner Kinsler gave me explicit instructions. You're busy, so I'm just going to borrow this stapler. Listen, Captain, there's a Covenant carrier hovering right outside my window. There's a sniper in my lobby, and you're threatening to have me fired? <laughs> Office of Naval Intelligence. Now there's a contradiction in terms. Oh, what do you want? I need you to turn the... The superintendent back on. Not you, too. I am telling all of you, the commissioner... I know, but I'm making you do it. At gunpoint. What gun? This one. You're holding my stapler inside your pocket and pointing it at me. You don't know <laughs> that. It might be a gun. Or a rifle. Or a rocket launcher. And if it was, why <laughs> you would have launcher. to turn the superintendent back on. Nobody could blame you. Or fire you. If it was a gun. Oh no. Please, don't shoot. I'll do anything. She's more than happy to do it. It's okay, Virgil. I'm here. He sounds different. Yeah. Virgil. What have those aliens done to you? What happened? What should we do? Sadie, what's going on? I don't know. Those aliens have been working on Virgil and now that he's back on, he sounds... Different. Virgil? Yeah. It's still you, isn't it? Can you get dead for me? Virgil can't reach him. Something's wrong. Reports are coming in from all over the city. Covenant forces are pulling back in the face of furious resistance. Man, have I had it with his crap. Our enemies are cowards. Battle on, brave citizens, and victory will be ours. Hang on. That's coming from inside the building. Mike, wait! Where are you going? This hour, we pay tribute to our fallen heroes. Jim Odingo, Roberto Bustamante, and Marshal Glick. This is his office. Public Service Announcements Division. These officers were gunned down in the very lobby of this building by Covenant snipers. But moments ago, members of our citizen militia wiped out the sniper nest with a homemade flamethrower made from nothing more than an old leaf blower and a can of gasoline. Keep fighting, Mombasa. Fight, and we will win. <sighs> Off the air. Covenant sniper nest? Those people were massacred by a crazy ex-cop. Hell, one of those people was the crazy ex-cop. And your point is? People are dying out there and you're feeding them this... this garbage? None Nonsense. of it is true! Yes. Well, some days, truth isn't really a luxury we can afford. Come on, Mike. He's a propaganda officer. He's just doing his job. His job? 
More like lying to people for a living. Do you know who is still listening to my announcements? An old woman, too weak to leave her bed. A man bleeding in the street. A teacher hiding with her students in a school basement. They're all going to die. Maybe, they need maybe hope. not. The Marines will be here soon. They are all going to die. My job is to fill the time before they die with truth. With hope. With hope, yeah. But maybe you can do better. On the air. A special honor, new Mombasa. I have here in studio Uprising Commander Harris, two-shot Kibaki. Commander, tell our listeners the latest news from the city center. Commander, oh. go ahead. Speak the truth. Well, Come on, Mike. things aren't as good as they could be, but they're looking up. We're, we're fighting hard. Good to hear it. Any words of advice, two-shot? Just keep fighting. We can win this battle if we stick together. We can save the city. We can win this war. Off the air. Now you are also a hero. You are, you know. I feel sick. No. What you feel is hope. Ah, see? You already have an admirer. Go ahead. You're on the line with Harris Two-Shot Kibaki. That was truly inspiring. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. The city must be very impressed. Kinsler. What does Kinsler do to spec up? Sadie, I now control the firefighting systems in your father's lab. If you want to see him alive again, you'll do exactly as I say. Fuck. Kinsler told me to meet him at the train station. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Sadie. You can't trust him. You know that. My father is still in Virgil's data center. I've been listening to your dad all day. And the one thing he wouldn't want you to do? Put yourself in even more danger by... You're not listening at all. Kinsler said he'd trigger the emergency fire response. And that will... Flood the data center with argon. Can people breathe argon? No, Mike. It freezes you. Dead. <laughs> Look, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Virgil, are you there? <laughs> What is going on with Virgil, man? Escalation. Out of the way, I'm getting all that not training. For me. There's not enough room. Is not we, have to we gotta get out of here. My wife knows anyone's getting to close, but we have to go. Trans Bay Express train now departing Kikawani Station. All passengers must sign off with your heart. <laughs> Maybe Dad was right. The tentacle aliens he found, I think they are helping Virgil, bringing him back from the dead. But why would they do that? Dad said they were looking for something, something Virgil found. Keep it clean. Leave all luggage on platforms. Maybe they're sick of fighting, just like us. I don't know. Dad would know the answer. We'll ask him when we see him, okay? Okay. Now, where are you supposed to meet the commissioner? Platform 9. He's got a private train. I still think you should let if me... If I don't come alone, my dad will die. Kinsler made that clear. You and Virgil know what you have to do? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, here they are. Covenant are closing in. People are panicking. This is going to get out. This day is a nightmare. It all keeps getting worse. Everything's falling apart. Not everything. Listen. I know I'm just a girl who got you fired. You're more than that. I might also be the girl who gets you killed. Maybe, but not today. Mike, I want you to live. I need you to live. For me. Oh, he will live for you, alright. He will live. Platform 9. There's Kinsler's private train, guarded by corrupt cops with machine guns. I'm going in. My father's life is on the line. Be careful. You too. What? Wait your turn! Excuse me! Sorry. Coming through! Get away from the train, you hear me? Everyone back off. Steady, officer. Not yet. I can't hold the crowd back much longer, sir. Kinsler! You won't have to. My passenger has arrived. This way, Sadie. Push right on through. Make some room. Let her through. It's not fair. We all deserve to live. Now's our chance. Rush the train. 
Oh my god! Killing innocent people that just want to survive. What the fuck? Watch your step. You ever worry there might really be a hell? Oh, I know there is, my dear. And you and I are leaving it. Officer, close the doors. Button up, men. We're out of here. I don't want any of that on board. Yes, sir. You can't just kill them. Why not? I'm getting quite good at it. For instance, I killed your father an hour ago. No. No, no, no. You killed my father? My men near Virgil's data center tripped the fire response system. He suffocated and froze. Not a bad way to go, all things considered. I wanted to tell you, face to face. Please, get all your tears out now. It's a long ride, and I don't want to hear you moaning all the way to Nairobi. Well, come to think of it, I might. Oh my god, somebody needs to. It's a pink airborne Whoa. octopus. How hard can it be to find? The tunnels are crawling with buggers, Commissioner. We've lost a lot of men. Maybe we should... No one leaves until I get that alien. Do you hear me, officer? It found a way to hack a superintendent class AI. Knowing how it did that is vital to the war effort. Like you ever cared about anyone besides yourself. Just because I'm a murderer doesn't mean I'm unpatriotic. Wow. Covenant armor approaching the station, sir. What do we do? We wait! <sighs> Don't you see the beauty of it, Sidney? Whatever you think of me, whatever I have done, I will leave this city with vital intelligence about the Covenant. Bastard. Call me what you like, but the world will call me a hero. Listen to me! The Covenant are coming! Listen to me if you want to live! I've killed your father, CD, and now we're leaving the city. No one is coming to save you. Not Branley, not Virgil. It's the end of the line. Oh? You were saying? That machine is dead! I killed it! It doesn't matter. Anything he does to this car happens to you too! Are you ready to die? No. Do you want to live? Yes. Are you ready to fight? Yes. That's it, Mike. Damn, Mike! Now, sir. Natural yes. born leader! Go. The rest of your men will have to die. Sir, we aren't moving. I've lost engine control. Listen to me, Virgil. Or whatever you are. Move this train out of the station or Sadie dies. You hear me? The Covenant will kill us all. We're knocked out of the system. The train's not responding. There is nothing you can do to hurt me that won't kill her. Almost nothing. Virgil, open the doors. What? Ha <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get what you deserve, you pig. They're gonna rip them apart. Yep! Oh my god! Oh! Now that's satisfying! Saidi! Saidi! Are you alright? What about Kinsler? They tore him to pieces. I gotta go, Mike! Excuse me! Sorry! Mike does know. Let me through! Where are you going? Underground! What? Oh no. Sidey, stop! We are getting on that train. And getting the hell out of town. That creature helped Virgil! It helped you and me! It helped all of us! Sidey. Dad knew how important it was. That's what he died for! I'm willing to die too. Let me go, Mike! Emergency stop! I am not hurt. Your life, my brave warrior princess. If we don't find you, who will? Officer Naval and 
intelligence for tax dollars at work. Fallen heroes on the air. Virgil, I... I need you to live for me. Get on the train, you two. Come in this way. I'll get later. We've got to go. Virgil. Virgil is basically You're showing her that she needs to live. Oh, I have left of him. Sadie, take my hand. Okay, I'm ready. On the board, last train. Now that is actually so sad. Next stop, Makuba, Nairobi Road, home station, and beyond. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? Halo 3 ODST Corrupt Cop. This just came up straight away as the next video. Right, we know this is ODST. Trooper, hold up a sec. I gotta check on a little personnel issue. What? Shut up, Virgil! You hear me? Icy conditions. Chains required. Freaking machine. The whole city's gone to hell. Wait here. Watch for hostiles. I'll be back. What is... What are you, stupid? I told you to stay outside. Step away from there. This ain't none of your business. Eyes on the enemy! Kinsler gave me real specific instructions. Make sure the doc's dead and make double sure no one knows about it. Caution, traveler. Caution. Sorry, friend. You know way too much. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, shit! Crime doesn't pay. Good citizens do their part. <sighs> Corrupt cop. And he's teabagging him. <laughs> of course. God, this just makes me want to play ODST again now. Oh, nice shot. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Trooper, hold up a sec. I gotta check on a little personnel issue. Ah. So this is what happens when you don't follow. Shut up, Virgil. You hear me? I see conditions. Chains required. Freaking machine. The whole city's gone to hell. Wait here. Watch for hostiles. I'll be back. Interesting. I didn't do this. I kept pushing forward. Hmm. What was he doing? Okay, so he's going to follow him in now. What are you, stupid? I told you to stay out. Step away from there. This ain't none Where's... of your business. Kinsler gave me real specific instructions. Make sure the doc's dead and make double sure no one knows about it. Caution, traveler. Caution. 
Sorry, friend. You know way too much. Okay. All right. So that's a corrupt cop that was ordered to make sure that the doctor was dead. All right, lads. That was the ODST audio logs. The story of Sadi and Mike. Mike Bramley. The freaking MVP of this entire story. I really love this. This was quite emotional. I liked it a lot. I think it gave a lot of insight of things that were happening in the background um, before all the chaos ensued. And then as the chaos was there and everybody was writing and going crazy and losing their minds and there was just all out panic. This story of this girl that wanted nothing more than to save her dad. And going on this mission and putting herself in danger and meeting some very, very interesting characters along the way. You know, I find that quite fascinating. And of course, my favorite character of this entire thing is, of course, Mike Bramley. This man had the opportunities to survive and keep out of danger and just flee. He had that opportunity and he was willing to bring Sadie on, bring Sadie as well to save her in the process. But Sadie being as stubborn as she was, a very stubborn character that really nothing was going to stop her. Nothing was going to scare her from saving her dad. And that was her one sole purpose, her one sole mission, um, because her dad is all she had. That Him and, of course, Virgil. And it's nice to see that Mike came back. I honestly wasn't expecting it. I thought he was just a character that we weren't going to see again. And this is just going to be Sadie on her own, getting through this and trying to rescue her dad. But suddenly, out of nowhere... Who comes to save the day? Of course, Mike comes crashing through the brutes to save Sadie, of course, and helping Sadie along the way and showing some incredible leadership skills. Just what an awesome dude, you know? What an incredible dude. A real great character in this entire story. But man, that was some real sad stuff coming to the end. Um, this Kinsler dude just wouldn't quit. And being responsible for the death of her dad, you know, after going through everything that she did, and to see and to hear that her dad was killed, I can only imagine how devastating it was. Truly, truly devastating. But my God, that, that was just, that was a great story. I mean, you gotta give it to Bungie. They are masters when it comes to storytelling. And I, I love the fact that this wasn't even something that they had to do. But they added it in there because it had such a great story. And it's something to really think about. And that video that we watched after the ODST logs was a corrupt cop. Um, it was the same voice that was talking to Kinsler over the frequency or whatever. And he was corrupt. He was given the duty to make sure that the doctor was dead. Um, now, I can't remember that in my run in the game. I think it's something that I just skipped. I just kept pushing through. Uh, but it's nice to see that now. So, like, this was awesome. Enjoyed it. I loved it. And if you guys have any more context from this story that directly links with the ODST game, make sure you let me, let me know in the comment section. I can't wait to read through it. And for you guys to blow my mind, as you usually do in the comment section, um, I greatly appreciate it. But I do, I can see the connection there. Um, and it seemed that Virgil knew about the ODST coming into rescue. Um, as well so I think that's awesome and we got some familiar names mentioned throughout this also so all in all this was definitely worth the watch and I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it and if this is your first time viewing it as well then now you're just as mind blown as I am and you know quite impressed by this story like I said it's not something that needed to be added to the game but it was for that extra treat for finding the audio logs but watching this has made me really want to play ODST again and it's definitely something that I plan on doing. I plan on playing the games again um, in my spare time and playing them on higher difficulties to really, really engross myself in the story. Uh, because I feel like you need to play things more than once to really understand everything that's going on. Because um, first impressions are, are everything. Yes, first impressions do um, hold that significant importance when it comes to playing a game. But playing it a second time or even a third time, it starts to fill your head with that knowledge you know and i know all of you the community the halo community are filled with that knowledge because you guys love these games and playing them back then you didn't have a choice of playing the game after or the game after that like i do you had to stick with this game for a while for years until you got that new uh, that new edition that new game like halo 3 after this if you will or 
Halo 4 even. So there is a lot of replay value there. And I want to replay these games, you know, so I'll get that full understanding and that knowledge that you guys possess as well. Because there is a lot of stuff that goes straight over my head. And I know that. I'm aware of that. And you guys let me know in the comment section. And honestly, that's what makes this an even more enjoyable experience for me. Knowing that the community is there to help me out whenever I get confused or I miss certain context of the story. That's why you guys are there and I appreciate it. I really do. But anyway, that is my reaction to the ODST audio logs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like if you haven't already. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well for more Halo content, including Halo 4 for the very first time this Saturday at 1 p.m. GMT UK time. We're going to be streaming there on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dbgeek. So make sure you follow me over there to be a part of the greatness. We're also going to be streaming Gears of War tomorrow for the first time. So make sure you tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. also for Gears of War for the very first time. A lot of great stuff on the way, like I promised, and just strap yourselves in. 2020 may be a chaotic year right now for a lot of us, but when it comes to the entertainment and the content I put out, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited too. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, lads and ladies. If you enjoyed, smash the like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy, and I'll see you dudes in my next Halo video. See you later, dudes!